Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in New Jersey, a landfill with 12 representatives in the United States Congress. Uh, we've got an almost $25 million, seven bed, 12 bath mansion here. I had to skip past a 25 even million dollar mansion that was new construction uh, because the pictures were Teeny, teeny tiny you could barely see them which was a bummer because it was it was a house that was entirely professionally decorated and a professional decorator decided to put a gigantic swordfish over one of the fireplaces it was pretty spectacular uh, but we'll we'll have to content ourselves with this one and and hopefully it still has some wonders and horrors to show us uh, we can see right off the bat that it is going for kind of a, a neo-colonial. We got a lot of columns here. We got, you know, a lot of these stone fenced balconies. I mean, look at the size of those columns on this thing. It's it's trying to look like like a university or a public building for some from some angles. We've got a dome over here. That's a lot. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, it's the East Coast, a lot of these older buildings, they were, you know, they were built in a bygone era when, when neoclassical uh, Latin fetishization was, was big. This was built in 2007, so we are not giving it any breaks on anything. All right, we've got horses on the property, uh, because of, of course we do. Uh, I'm wondering how much horse girl behavior we're going to see in here, but maybe the horses are just one of those expected East Coast rich people luxuries. Who knows? Oh, now this is a fountain. I have complained about lackluster fountains. This, this is what a $25 million house fountain should look like. It's like Buckingham Palace. It's absolutely obscene, surrounded by eons of monoculture Kentucky bluegrass that is is I mean we are wasting water left and right here uh, it's decadence absolute decadence we hate the planet oh we got a close-up and look at that lion statue that's you know what if you if you go to a 25 million dollar mansion with a fountain and there's no lion in it you just walk right out the door it's not worth your time all right, we can see this kind of conservatory looking structure here. We've got another with, with, uh, I mean, that's, that's also, it's got the glass roof here. I think I've seen a library like that. We've got some very neatly trimmed hedges because we are in, I don't know, England or something. You're in New Jersey. Get over yourself. All right, we got lots of greenery, lots of landscaping. Oh, we got, we've got a secondary fountain. That is allowed to be understated because the big fountain is elsewhere. Uh, we got this weird little, it looks like a, a metal filigree covered walkway here. It got a pool with a hot tub. Uh, the pergola's got a nice big sitting area under it. This is, I mean, it's hoity toity as fuck, but it is a nice outdoor space. There's, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> The carefully manicured weird little shapes in the in the monoculture grass. That's interesting. I feel like out here this this was meant to be a golf course and they just never finished the project or something. Do you think they, they must have a full time gardener on all of this? I mean this is constant maintenance in order to keep the lines this clean. And how often do you think they actually just stroll around in the gardens here? All right, we've got lots of uh, umbrellas to cover up our pasty whiteness. I, I do like that they're incorporating the, the greenery and the landscaping really close to the pool here. I don't know how good the chlorine is for these, for these uh, plants here. I also don't know how I feel about the shape of these plants. They're kind of weird. They're like... I don't, I don't know what they are, but you've got the one plant here and then the other plant poking out of it like it, the alien chest burster erupting from the top of it. Uh, but I, I do like that it's not just like this barren swath of concrete. All right, we're inside 
And right off the bat, it is blindingly white. Uh, we've got some very elaborate ceilings here and uh, columns framing the entrance to the sitting room. The floors, you got marble and tile out here. You've got very elaborate woodwork in here. Um, those are, are some really next level details. You've got a grand piano. I think it's interesting they've got the plaid couch in here. I, I wouldn't expect plaid in a room like this. It's, it's like everything is so white that it makes the, the patterns and textures really pop out and you can really see how little they match. You've got the red pillows, you've got the stripes, you've got the plaid, you've got whatever the felk is going on with these yellow curtain things here. For a room with so little color in it, it's really uncohesive. We got grandma and grandpa over the fireplace here. The couches are symmetrical, of course. These chairs are symmetrical. Uh, this weird little circle is serving no purpose. It does not belong to any chair. It's like it's trying very hard to be elegant and elevated in an old money sort of way. And it's, it's just falling short in very subtle ways. Oh, and we've stepped through. I think that was connected. I think we saw this room through here. So we've got a second sitting room right through here. And this one is, is doing the hotel lobby vibes. Yeah, you could see it through to the, I think that's the front entryway there, or else it's a back porch. Kind of thing. I don't even know if you can call that a porch. It's enormous. Uh, I assume there's a TV back here. So this is the TV watching area. But you've got the the symmetrical couches here. And with the adjacent sitting areas, it does give off a hotel lobby vibe. Especially with the very stern colors. You've got the dark wood floor, the dark wood ceiling, the, the deep red walls. Um... You know, I complain about a lack of color in these houses. Those are the kind of bold colors that you do get from a hotel lobby, though. We're sticking with the red. We are very into the red, and we are very into alcohol. My God. Oh, this is a bar. That's why. That's, there's so much booze in here, you couldn't keep it all behind the bar. You had to display some up here. I mean, some of these bottles, I'm like, all right, that's a pretty bottle. I would display that. This one? I mean, that looks like malt liquor that you could pick up at the corner store based on the bottle alone. I'm sure it's not, but the point remains. This is a weird vibe for an in-home bar because it's, it's all very one directional. Usually you see these and there's other things going on around, but you take people into this bar that you, there's not even really space to wrap the, the chairs around. You all have to sit in a line. I assume you've either hired someone to bartend or you've got yourself or another guest bartending. It's it's just a weird space to have in a home. I'm trying to picture what application this would have. Either you're sitting by your lonesome in here pretending that you've gone out to a bar to get drunk. Or you're sitting elbow to elbow with your buddies getting drunk without making eye contact. Interesting. Oh, and this is awfully bright. There's really no in-between in terms of the hues in this house. It's either the brightest room you've ever seen in your life or deep, deep, deep dark. Uh, we've got symmetrical furniture. I'm assuming that, that this little seating area is mirrored over here. Uh, we're doing nothing with this little round space, which, I don't know. Put a, put a foyer table there. Put, put a big banana plant. Something. There's a few plants in here, but this is literally a, a conservatory type room. This should be just filled to the, the brim with plants. And there's nothing. Really? There's what? That's a spider plant? I don't know what that is. And we got a ficus. That's not that much. Got a formal dining room here with a table so long it needed two chandeliers. People on opposite ends of this table have to shout to hear each other. 
What? Okay, I noticed this in the New Hampshire house. Hem your curtains. It's not that hard. You have the money. Take them to a seamstress. Get them taken up an inch or two. That's... That looks awful that they're all wrinkled and disheveled like that. Uh, seriously? And you've got interesting details in the ceiling here. But A, it's all white so you can't actually see it. And B, in addition to having two chandeliers and a sconce on every bit of wall, we felt the need to put in some fucking can lights! You don't need can lights! This room does not need to be lit up like a surgical theater. My God. All right, here's the kitchen. The kitchen, we're back to the dark theme. I, You know what? The hanging pots and pans is, I feel like that's fun in moderation. Here, though, you've just got an entire kitchen's worth of kitchen supplies. Look, you had to go find baskets to hang. Were you actually using the baskets? What's in the cabinets? You've hung everything in the middle here. At least the ceilings are so high, I don't think you'd bump your head on them. Oh, there's there's the refrigerator. Oh, we've got two, two hidden refrigerators disguised as cabinets because you can't let them know you eat. If you let them know you eat, they might get ideas about your mortality and... You're not deserving all of the wealth that you have. We've got, it looks like double ovens, but single stove here, unless that's a convection stove. I've not, I've not got a really good angle on that there. The red with the dark wood actually works in here, partly because you've got the white ceiling and the white trim and, and this lighter backsplash and also the light floor. So it's not so overwhelming in here as it has been in the other rooms. Oh, we got a rooster. We got a rooster. Oh, no, those are double stoves. All right. Over the double stoves. Uh, for some reason, people really think roosters belong in kitchens. I don't know where that idea came from. We've got a plate hanging over this archway. Uh, we've got a vase on the floor that I assume is for spitting into. I'm just, I'm trying to like parse everything that's in here. What are these hanging bunches of red things? Is that dried food? Those look like fake grapes. This is through to yet another dining room. We've got uh, a shelf breaking up part of this space. I kind of like that. Uh, it, it is a little bit of a, a jarring transition from, from the kitchen into this breakfast area with it being all white as, as opposed to how dark it is in here. but. I, I guess it's not that bad. You've still got the dark wood continuity there. Uh, this is an interesting detail here. Built into this this built-in shelving here, we've got a little st very shallow stove with with tiling around it. I don't really know what to make of that. It's obviously been used. I'm wondering if it's is it to keep food warm or that's such a strange detail oh and you've got wine storage below it you don't want to have fire immediately next to your wine that's terrible for the wine and i will say it does look more cohesive from this direction because we don't have all the walls the same color which when is the last time in one of these houses we saw them dare to paint walls in the same room different colors so this you've got the continuation of the red from in here and then you've got one white wall on the outside that is a much more cohesive flow oh we got a big old staircase here we got photos of horses on the walls all right here's our first hint of horse girl behavior uh some very elaborate details in the banister oh and we got a chandelier up there a very white hallway with, again, these nice hanging lights and goddamn can lights over them. What the hell? We've got two chandeliers in this room. These nice ceiling details and yet still can lights. Built-in glass shelving in the room. I don't know that that's necessary in a bedroom. 
I, I would take built-in, like, closed cabinets in a bedroom. That might seem useful because you could put clothes in there. These are literally only for knickknacks, especially because they're glass, so you wouldn't really want to put books on there. Big old fireplace. The room is just way too big. I mean, sometimes you can chalk this up to a camera angle, but even over here, that's miles of floor space between between the windows and the bed here. It's, it's like sleeping in an auditorium. Oh, wow. That's so much. The, the monogram over the bathtub, that's quite a lot. The neoclassical columns as if we are in a Grecian bathhouse, that's quite a lot. Oh, boy. And the his and hers sinks on either side of it so that you, you can only catch glimpses of each other in the mirror and shoot dirty glares at your at the spouse that you despise so much. Oh, my God. This shower... First of all, the gold in here doesn't match and is just atrociously gaudy. Second of all, we've got three different shower heads in here and the, the tile work. I mean, it really is. It's trying to be, you know, Grecian or Byzantine or, or something with this. Is that a domed ceiling? This is so, so much. All right, this bedroom. It's a little more understated. We do have a couch, but it's facing away from the bed, so I'll, I'll give it to it. Here's another room. This one's got a very loud couch spectator seat facing the bed. Uh, the intense chandelier. I don't want a chandelier over my bed. That's just like intimidating. It casts weird shadows in the night. I'm worried that it might fall and then I'm going to have a room full of broken glass in the middle of the night. The crown molding is quite a lot. Here's another bathroom. We got a porthole so that we can pretend we are in a boat. Uh, a nice long big bathtub. I do like that. This mirror being this dark wood when Everything else is so, so blindingly white is is a mismatch. It shouldn't be a mismatch because there should be some other color going on in here. Alas, there is not. Um, the bidet, the separate bidet. You know what? In this day and age when we can incorporate the bidet into the toilet itself, I think that's the way to go. I think having a separate bidet and having to do the pants around your ankle shuffle from toilet to bidet, I think that's unbecoming in this day and age. A few years ago, perhaps, but not now. All right, we've got more portholes, and we have a TV over the fireplace. A TV over the fireplace because we love to replace our electronics constantly as we roast them to death. Uh, I think this room is actually an office. It took me a minute to, to absorb everything in it. Uh, and reach that conclusion. We've got the double desks so that you've got, you know, this one that actually faces out and then this one where I guess you face the windows in this case. The can lights are egregious and very noticeable in the way they're framed in this slanted roof line. I believe this is a second TV or maybe it's a painting. It's a, it's hung very low for a painting. It's It's hung below the level of the of the wainscoting that's not correct we've got bookshelves with very few books on them there's at least a few though so i guess thank god for for that we'll just count our blessings that there's any books oh we've got a gigantic wine cellar holy shit this is this is like the the rich person walk-in closet of wine cellars and well stocked too. What gets me though is that a lot of these bottles are identical. I mean, I guess you, you do end up with ones that are your favorite and you want a few bottles of them, but like, look at all of that. What wine did they like so much that they wanted just an entire wall of it? Is that three buck chuck? I bet that's three buck chuck. 
<laughs> and we've got an in-home movie theater. Of course, we have an in-home movie theater and it's monogram. I want to know who V is. Is is this V for Vendetta? I hope so. I hope V is marking his, his territory because he's going to come in and blow up this entire house. Good Lord. And of course, the entire thing is white. All of the dark rooms in this house and they decided this one needed to be white so that this room never gets dark. This checkered pink and white carpet. Oh my god. What is that? What is that? Oh, this is atrocious. Top to bottom, this is... <laughs> There's nothing in this room that is correct. Right, we've got a, a gym in home gym with with mirror it looks well stocked we got a a lot of different machines going on here um i i don't see much cardio but also in this reflection or actually no i think that's another room i think this is an entire mirrored room in here oh my god yeah i thought i just assumed okay all right maybe the the cardio is hiding around the corner then and we're back out on the garden, looking at, I don't know, this pond and all the grass. How much time do you think they spend mowing this grass? I bet it gets mowed like twice a week. I bet I bet by the time the gardener is, is finished with mowing the grass, it's time to turn around and start back at the other end again. It's a Sisyphean task. Holy shit, here's the stables. Um... Do you think they have enough horses? I think they have at least two horses. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think they might have a couple. Wow. All right. And that's New Jersey. What? What a fake, classy, tacky piece of shit is this? I Oh, God. The, the movie theater kills me. It's just everything about this. You know, when you think about Rudy Giuliani's, and I know he's he's a New Yorker, but he's got the energy of a New Jersey guy, you know? When you think about what his idea of a high-class aesthetic is, this is what you picture. This This is absolutely what you would picture here. Just all of the most expensive shit that you can cram into a space but in a way that just constantly and subtly tells on itself that you don't actually know what the fuck you're talking about you've not actually listened to any interior decorators i uh, you know I, I always remind you in these videos these people can afford interior decorators but you know what they cannot afford is an interior decorator that is willing to tell them that they're an idiot and that they need to stop no one tells them no and so every time they get a stupid idea about something to put in their stupid expensive house there's no one there saying no that'll look awful that's a terrible idea and and that's how you end up with these houses uh, Okay. I mean, there were, there were some cool details in this, but overall, you know, this is what we expect from these houses. Well, if you saw anything that I missed, uh, if you've got any comments, if you're from New Jersey and, and you want to dunk on New Jersey because I don't think anyone wants to defend it, uh, leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.